Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and welcome to the Java for Complete Beginners course. Now originally I made this course with um, the idea in mind of promoting some one-to-one -one lessons that I used to give and that I no longer do. And for that reason, originally the course was kind of focused on people who were already doing a bit of Java and they just wanted some kind of help in systematically understanding the whole subject. But since then a number of people have commented that it's not really a Java for complete beginners because I hadn't kind of explained where you get the necessary tools to write Java programs or indeed what a Java program is. So for that reason I'm, I've gone back now and I'm adding some videos to the beginning of the course of which this is one where I want to explain a bit more about how you get started with Java development, what you need and how Java actually works. So to if you if you're going to take this course you probably well you will need some basic computer knowledge like you'll need to know um, how to use a computer how to find files on your system um, how to like use the internet how to find things on the internet you should be familiar with basic computer concepts and even then if you're completely new to programming then programming is initially quite difficult but the way I'd suggest to get over that is just follow the tutorials just write the computer programs out for yourself and try changing them a little bit and see what happens and you'll find that eventually the penny drops and it becomes a lot simpler than you originally thought but there is initially what feels like a steep learning curve just because you're seeing something completely new that you've you've never previously seen and at first you feel a bit at sea so um, let's get started now with in this tutorial I'm just gonna explain how to get the stuff that you need to begin developing Java what you need to install and then in the next tutorial I'm going to explain a bit about what Java actually is so let's take a look um, this is actually a program called Eclipse and as I'm going to explain in the next tutorial when you to create a Java program you create basically text files and you turn them into kind of binary computer program files that your computer can run and this is a specialized editor for developing Java programs which will also make, do that step of creating computer programs from your text files so you'll need this and before you install this what you need is something called the JDK and the JRE now um, if you go to Google and you search for well let's take first the JRE search for JRE 7 which is the one that I've used in this course and you could try searching for JRE 8 or later which may be available by the time you're actually looking at this course but at the moment you want JRE 7 now I'm going to explain what this JRE actually is in the next tutorial but for the moment let's just con uh, concentrate on actually installing it um, in fact the JRE will run your Java programs and you've probably already got it installed but it doesn't hurt to actually double check and install it if it's not already present so search for JRE 7 and you want the um, standard edition JRE actually I'm not even sure if there are multiple versions but let's take a look so I've searched for JRE 7 and go to the first link you see which will be from oracle.com and click on that and this kind of page here it looks sort of horribly confusing but it's not too bad I'm going to assume that you're using Windows although this also applies to um, other operating systems but for this series of tutorials I've developed everything using Windows so once you've found this Java Standard Edition, that's SE Standard Edition Runtime Environment, that's Java, that's J-R-E, Java Runtime Environment 7 or 8 if it's out, you'll, you'll get to a page that looks something like this hopefully and just look for the installer for your operating system. So let's see here we've got for example Windows x86 online, so if you've got a PC um, we call that um, an x86 system and 
you'll see here I've got JRE 7 Windows I I'm not really sure what I stands for 586 Intel 586 I guess dot exe so just download that and install it it just installs like a normal program you should have no problems and you'll pro it'll probably tell you you've already got this on your system in which case you don't have to bother any further and all this does is it just allows you to run Java programs so if you're already running Java programs then maybe you won't need to bother and you also need to just accept the license agreement here as well now once you've got your JRE standard edition SE you'll need the JDK and the JDK is the Java development kit um, it's the software that allows you to create Java programs yourself so if you search in Google for JDK DK7 or again JDK8, JDK8 if it's out and you, you want the version to match the JRE that you've got so search for let's say JDK7 standard edition SE you want and here at the top link from oracle.com we've got the Java standard edition development kit 7 downloads and so that's JDK stands for uh, well Java development kit so if you click on that and let's take a look at this page and again you want the appropriate file for your operating system so you need to say that you accept the license agreement again and just select the appropriate file so I would use Windows x86 because I've got a PC running Windows and I download this and install it now once you've got your JRE standard edition and your JDK standard edition you need the Eclipse um, IDE IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment so I'm going to go back to Google here and search for Eclipse Java IDE because there are actually various versions of this for different languages and I want the Java one and I'll search for that and in fact um, the top link, link that comes up is to Eclipse.org and then we've got a specific link to the downloads page on Eclipse.org here so you could either go to Eclipse.org and look for the downloads link or just go straight to this page here, Eclipse Downloads. And now you need to install the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So this this EE one here, that's for if you want to do kind of web related stuff, which we won't be covering in this basic course. So you could install that and it would be fine. But I would suggest if you're a complete beginner, install the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Now this um, at the moment at least um, just download a zip file and you just unzip the zip file and then find the icon to start it up within the unzip folder and just double click on that to start Eclipse so I I'm going to assume as I say that you can, you're can you okay with unzipping zip files and things like that so just download this zip file and unzip it somewhere I would use the Windows 32 bit and although I have a 64-bit system I'm not sure that there's really a whole lot of benefit in using the 64-bit Eclipse and the 64-bit system can run a 32-bit uh, program no problem so install the probably the Windows 32-bit or the right one for your platform because I think at least that you can get it for different platforms but you might have to hunt around a bit if you're using the Mac or something in fact I know you can um, so yeah so that you can change in fact here your operating system install the right one for your platform and hey presto now that's all the software that you'll need to get started and this is Eclipse running and Eclipse depends on the JDK and the JRE so you will need those um, but once you've installed the JDK and JRE you won't have to worry about them a whole lot because Eclipse will handle using those for you basically now if you want to get started with the programming you could skip forward to the kind of main section of this tutorial series where, where we'll actually start developing little programs or if you want to know more about what Java is and how it works then I'm going to cover that in the next tutorial so stay tuned um, well join me again next time and until next time happy coding <laughs>